Hello guys and welcome back to another unboxing video that I have for you guys today. Now today, we're going to be taking a look at IBM PC DOS version 4.0 and I'm just going uh, to bring it in on the camera here so you guys can actually see it. Uh, and, and this is it, this is IBM Disk Operating System version 4.0, also known as IBM uh, PC DOS as well as uh, I believe IBM DOS. It had uh, you know a, like a few different names but uh, from now on, we're just going to uh, call it IBM PC DOS, just to you know, kind of keep things simple. But basically, this was a rebranded version of uh, Microsoft MS DOS that was uh, basically licensed uh, to IBM. It basically allowed them to uh, sort of have uh, like their own software to use uh, on like uh, you know their own hardware, and I guess that they you know kind of wanted that. Uh, if you were uh, to compare this to Microsoft DOS version 4.0, it would be exactly the same, with uh, all references of uh, you know Microsoft obviously taken out uh, of this version. Now I believe uh, it was after uh, a PC DOS version 6, that's when it actually kind of became like uh, like its own product, like it like it was its own thing, but. Uh, yeah, this is this is pretty similar. It, it's pretty much the same version uh, as as uh, Microsoft DOS 4. So on on the front here it says IBM Disk Operating System version 4.0 with a, a nice little image uh, of two uh, which what looks like two uh, 3.5 inch floppy diskettes that we have on here. Underneath that it says Programming Family, and uh, to the left of that it says. Uh, Support thousands of, of application programs with IBM Disk Operating System, or DOS, version 4.0, the single tasking operating system of choice for the IBM Personal Computer and Personal System 2 families. This version of DOS offers a new multi or offers a new menu based interface for greater ease of use. It also supports large non partition direct access storage devices or DASDs. And underneath that, it says 3.5 inch diskettes because obviously it would come on 3.5 inch diskettes. Uh, let's just uh, you know go around the box here. Uh, on the bottom here, you don't, there's uh, nothing nothing really to see. On this side, if we you know just kind of flip it over here, we see uh, IBM Disk Operating System version 4.0, 3.5 inch diskettes. On the top here, there's nothing as well. And on the side here, it says the same thing: IBM Disk Operating System. And on the back here is uh, probably like uh, the most interesting part is everything you need to know about installing this. Well, like with like uh, the IBM you know warranty and all that kind of stuff. It's all back here. Uh, I've seen this warranty about like uh, four times printed inside here. There's like like a like a bunch of um, there's like a bunch of booklets in there, and they have this printed like you know four times. I I, I don't know why it's on the back here, but. I guess like they had to you know do that for some reason, but um, basically uh, let's just take a look uh, along the left side here where it tells us what uh, is included in the box and what you need to uh, actually install this on your computer. So to do that, I'm just gonna uh, you know zoom the camera in here so we can actually see what it says on the side here, and we'll uh, you know let it focus in. All right, so the, uh, the camera finally, you know, decided to focus. It took a while, but anyway. So here we here we go uh, along uh, the left side of, of the box. Here on on the top here it says warranty, uh, media. Uh, there is a three month warranty, and uh, for the actual program, there is also uh, a th uh, three month warranty as well. Uh, under uh, program services. It says apply after warranty. Yes, charges apply. No, under service uh, expiration date, it's August thirty first of nineteen eighty nine, which has been you know a little bit longer than that. So we're probably not going to be able to like actually use uh, this you know service anymore. Under that, it says no program services are are available after this date. So yeah, you know you know we can't you know take this in for for service if we ever needed you know service on on this really old piece of software from the nineteen eighties. But yeah. Under that, uh, we have the actual system requirements, which needed uh, an IBM Personal System 2 model 25, 30, 50, 60, 70, or 80, IBM Personal Computer, Personal Computer XT, Personal Computer XT 286, Personal Computer AT or PC convertible, 
and you also need uh, an IBM display or equivalent as well as 256 kilobytes of, of memory which is the minimum and one 720 kilobyte 3.5 inch diskette drive or one 1.44 megabyte 3.5 inch diskette drive and the software included is two 720k 3.5 inch diskettes and uh, beneath that it's just like uh, like a bunch of copyright information all right and under here at the very bottom uh, we have the IBM logo and then it says IBM Corporation 1988 printed in the United States of America all rights reserved and uh, that's that's basically it all this over here is just a giant licensing agreement which we're not going to read here it would take forever but uh, on, on the top there's this International Business Machines Corporation IBM Programming License Agreement and it says before uh, before opening this package you should carefully read which I'm sure I mean of course we're not going to read this but uh, if you want to you can I mean you can pause the video and you know take a look at it it's a very long li licensing agreement and it, it also shows up a few more times actually inside the box so uh, yeah, uh, let's just actually get inside of the box now. This is a, a very interesting box as uh, inside here is just a, a book as you can kind of see here. It's all contained in this one booklet and that's it, IBM Disk Operating System and then this here, this thing actually comes off like this top and and yeah, that's that's also pretty neat I guess and so we'll just you know, set this aside back here. And we'll get into uh, the actual manuals and all that kind of stuff which is contained in here. And there's a lot of manuals and I'm not going to go over everything. I'm just going to kind of go over uh, a few uh, you know, important things that are in here. So first off we have uh, uh, IBM Using Disk Operating System version 4.0. And in here is, here's that uh, you know, same thing that was on the back here. Again, I'm going to going to compare it. It's literally, it's literally the same exact thing. It was just on the back. I don't know why they had to print it in like, the booklet again, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Here it says uh, same thing that's on the front cover. You go in here a little bit. This basically shows you, or this is basically like a small introduction on, I guess, how to use IBM PC DOS. Another thing that is, uh, you know, kind of interesting is down here, uh, it says first edition July 1988 the following paragraph does not apply uh, uh, to the UK or right? I guess this is like something uh, I don't know what is this about French publication with no warranty I guess I, I don't know I guess it, it's like something for like uh, like uh, the US only or whatever but anyway so I just want to make sure you guys can see this okay on the on the camera here but yeah this is up here it says DOS 4.0 library here it says getting started with DOS 4, using DOS 4, DOS 4 command reference, DOS 4 technical reference and application programming. And yeah, that's it's basically like a guide of I guess like this what's gonna be in, in this booklet here. And we can just go through here's here's all of uh, like the contents and, 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 and the chapters and everything. And there's a lot of chapters. There's uh, seven chapters in this booklet. So that's that's a lot. Um and here's chapter one, introducing DOS four. So again, I'm, I'm not going to go through everything. It's just uh, this one little thing here. Actually, actually, no. This is probably the largest booklet in here, I believe. I just want to let me see here. I think this is the largest one. Yeah, it is. This okay. This right here is the is the entire first booklet. And I guess the reason why it's so large is it also contains like every single DOS command in here, and it tells you how to use them. Like you know like how to use them and different ways you can use them like here like here's a you know rem displaying remarks and it shows you you can use it this way if you want to do this it tells you how to do that or, and just like like what it would give you if you use it the wrong way or whatever um, it tells you like, like uh, about if statements pause all it's it's all in here it's 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 really interesting uh, if you're, you know, interested in, in, in this kind of stuff, especially. Uh, it tells you how to, uh, you know, actually change autoexec.bat, which is something that I'm sure most people would, you know, w want to learn how to do uh, if they had this program, especially if they were in, like, uh, like, uh, like an actual business or something like that. They would definitely want to know how to, you know, do this. I mean, that that would be pretty cool. But, yeah, it's all contained in this, you know, first little booklet. On the back here, there's also uh, a... Uh, what's called a uh, shell special key assignment 
and it says that uh, that, that some keys perform special tasks in the DOS shell. This this figure lists these assignments when a panel when a panel is displayed over start programs or the file system. Not all the keys not not, not all the key assignments are active and. Basically, it just tells you how to, you know, use uh, the uh, DOS shell with uh, these, you know, few special keys that they have programmed. So, an example here. Uh, okay, obviously, cancel is going to be escape. Enter is going to be the enter key. Move the cursor. You can, you know, use with the arrow keys. Uh, you know, it, it it just goes through and just tells you how to, you know, use certain uh, special keys in in DOS, which is pretty cool. Now over here. Uh, we have IBM getting started with Disk Operating System version 4.0. And in here, this is actually uh, like a whole little binded booklet in here. And we, and we can actually take this out also. If I can you know, pull this up here, we can actually take this entire thing out of here. And yeah, you, you know, read it if you don't want to read it in here. Again, there's that same license agreement once again. Uh, yeah, we can go through here. And this. It actually looks kind of like the same thing that was on the the uh, you know front of the booklet again. I guess they have that here again. Uh, you know, chapters and contents again. Tells you what to do uh, before it, before installing DOS. Tells you oh, remember these 5.25 inch uh, you know diskettes. It tells you how to I guess protect them. Right protect notch those things. Here's so here's two different uh, diskette types that you could use with. With DOS, I guess, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's it's all in here. Here's like uh, the main boot screen for IBM DOS. IBM uh, DOS DOS Select DOS 4.0 copyright IBM 1988. Press Enter or continue or escape to cancel. So yeah, that's it's all in here. It's it's pretty cool. Let's you know close this up here. We'll put this put this little booklet back in here. And we'll close this up, and we'll uh, you know, move. We'll go get this out of here. And on the back here, we have uh, again even more licensing information. If you can believe that, I don't know how much licensing stuff that they need. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, here's even more licensing stuff. They probably have like the same thing printed in here. I'm gonna see. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, that's even more licensing stuff. And here's uh, probably the most exciting stuff is the actual floppy diskettes. I'm just going to take them out of here like so. And we can actually, you know, take a, take a better look at them and not have it fall out of the sleeve. I don't want to do that. Um, but basically, here I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to actually take like the whole booklet aside. I'm going to just focus on these right here. Uh, I'll zoom in on them. So yeah, uh, the first one is uh, the IBM DOS install disk. And what's also kind of funny is this is the only part that I can see that it actually mentions Microsoft. If you can see here, under uh, where it says version 4.01 copyright international business machines, under that it says copyright Microsoft Corporation, which is which is kind of interesting. I mean, because they don't, I mean, they haven't mentioned that in like any like any of these other booklets, and they just decided to put it on the like on the actual diskette, which is kind of funny. Um, and then we can take this one out of here. And it's got the same thing, copyright Microsoft Corporation. Note to US government users, restricted rights legend use use duplication or disclosure is subject to restrictions in GSA ADP schedule contract with IBM Corporation. I guess this is like something for if you were using this uh, for like uh, the United States government, which definitely people did back then. So so yeah, that's that's that. We can you know kind of put these back in here. And I don't have a, like an actual DOS machine to you know like actually uh, like install these on, so we can't you know properly take like, like a whole like the, you know in depth look at, at these. But well, all right, guys, that's about gonna wrap it up for IBM PC DOS version 4.0. If you guys enjoy and you want to see more videos like this, uh, be sure to uh, leave any suggestions that you have down below, and also be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.